नमस्ते नमस्कार वेलकम टू नेशनल लेवल वन आर्चरी कोचेस वर्कशॉप ट्रेनिंग एग्जामिनेशन एंड सर्टिफिकेशन ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय आर्चरी एसोसिएशन ऑफ इंडिया एएआई कोचेस कमेटी एंड सपोर्टेड बाय ओजीक्यू ओलंपिक गोल्ड क्वेस्ट द मोस्ट एक्सक्लूसिव एक्सपेंसिव डिटेल्ड हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग असेसमेंट एंड सर्टिफिकेशन प्रोग्राम इन द कंट्री इन दिस लेक्चर यू विल लर्न अबाउट tuning tools and the variables we can use to adjust the shooting characteristics of an arrow in all of the tuning methods a number of variables can be used to adjust the shooting characteristics of an arrow all of the following deal with the arrow's dynamic spine which is the amount of initial bend the arrow undergoes as the string is released it is how weak or stiff the arrow is as it is shot most frequently this characteristic is referred to as the arrow spine unfortunately arrow manufacturers also use the same term spine to describe the stiffness of their shafts these two spines are really static spine or the stiffness of the arrow at rest as measured by a spine or dip flexion tester and dynamic spine which is the bending characteristics of an arrow as it is shot from the bow factors affecting dynamic spine dynamic spine is affected by a number of factors most of which can be adjusted to improve arrow flight adjustments to increase dynamic spine making the arrow shoot stiffer decrease point weight add weight to the knock end of the arrow next shorten the shaft next decrease bow weight decrease brace height be careful here as this gives a longer power stroke that makes the arrow seem weaker now increase string weight change arrows to a stiffer shaft side that is lower static spine value adjustments to decrease spine the dynamic spine making the arrow shoot weaker or bend more how to make the dynamic spine shoot weaker now what are things you can do to do that one is to increase the point weight increase the weight of the point next lengthen the shaft you have to lengthen the shaft of a arrow we have to which means you have to buy a new set of arrows you can't increase the the length of the shaft then what do you do increase bow weight increase the bow weight increase brace height here be careful as this gives a shorter bow stroke that makes the arrow seem stiffer next decrease string weight you have to decrease the weight of the string change arrows to a weaker shaft size that is increase the static spine value there are some limitations in applying these changes the point weights are determined by what the archer can purchase if the archer is using aluminum arrows he can add lead to the inside of the point to increase its weight now it is obvious that you can cut off some of the arrow shaft to shorten it but as i said you can't lengthen the shaft without purchasing new shafts if you increase bow weight you may get to the point the bow is too heavy for you to control bow string serving weight or center serving can affect the dynamic spine for example monofilament center serving will cause the arrow to react stiffer than lighter weight nylon center serving simply changing from a metal knocking point to a tire knocking point can have a noticeable effect on arrow spine due to the weight difference between the two styles of knocking points now what is the objective of bow tuning the goal of tuning a bow is to set it up so that you can get the smallest group of arrows possible within your shooting ability many people look for the best arrow flight or being able to shoot bare shafts into the fleshed shaft group there are many instances where elite archers get excellent groups without perfect arrow flight 
It is also normal for the bass shafts to hit just outside the fleshed shaft groove. Since bass shafts are lighter than fleshed shafts and have a no rear weight, that is the fletchings, depending on the distance being shot, it might be expected that unfleshed shaft would hit higher and to the left for right-handed archers or the fleshed shaft. Starting the tuning process. Now, how do you start the tuning process? Follow the many available manufacturer's spine charts to select the arrow size recommended for your draw length and bow poundage to use as a starting point in developing the proper arrows for you. Read all of the information provided on the proper use of the chart. Many archers, many people have found out that the arrow sizes recommended by the manufacturer is at least one stiffness grade too stiff. So it may be wise to try the arrows or pick one grade less stiff shaft as a starting point. Verification that you have selected the correct spine will be determined only during the shooting process by shooting the arrows. Problems caused by improperly spined arrow shafts will become evident during this process. Before tuning, be sure that all arrows are straight, properly fleshed and are perfectly aligned and knocks. Now that you have completed the preliminary adjustments and properly set up your bow, you are ready to start the tuning process. Next, establishing a basic tune. Now, how do you establish a basic tune? It is suggested that you begin with a bass shaft test. Shoot bass shafts at a target which is five meters away. In this way, you will see how the shaft leaves the bow and you can adjust your knocking point and cushion plunger as needed. Fish tailing caused by mismatched arrow spine. If the arrow leaves the bow with a knock end leaning to one side or the other, fish tailing occurs. The knock end of the arrow will appear to move from side to side as the arrow follows its flight path. Using the bash shaft planing test to correct fish tailing, Continue to shoot three fletched staff shafts and two or three identically aimed unfletched shafts. Again, make sure the bare shafts will hit the target before moving back further than 20 yards. If the unfletched shafts impact left of the fletched shafts, the arrow is too stiff for a right-handed archer. Opposite, weak for a left-handed archer. If the bare shafts impact more than two to three inches, five to eight centimeters at 20 yards. This will mean that the bear shaft will be well away from the fleshed shaft at a longer distance like 30 meters and may not even hit the target. In this case, decrease in the spring tension on the cushion plunger won't be of much help. It is better to use a more effective gross adjustment or a combination of adjustments before working with the cushion plunger, making sure that the cushion plunger is still set at a minimum spring tension. If your bow weight is adjustable, increase the bow weight by approximately one pound. An adjustment more than one pound is not recommended unless the archer is in very good physical condition and even then an archer should never increase more than two pounds at a time as it could have detrimental effects on shooting technique and possibly induce some kind of injury, which I'm sure you like to avoid. Other gross adjustments that will improve the spine compatibility of an arrow that is too stiff are an increase in an arrow point weight and a reduction in the number of strands in the string, reducing the physical weight of the bowstring. In the same relation, a decrease in the weight of the center serving material or a decrease in the length of the center serving will have a similar effect as well as a reduction in the weight of the knocking point. Example, changing from a metal knocking point to a tie on tie. The unfleshed shaft impact right of the identically aimed flesh arrow shaft weak for a right handed archer opposite stiff for a left handed archer decrease bow weight slightly if your bow weight is adjustable and or decrease arrow point weight. Here, 
The bow weight would be your best adjustment to move the bass shaft into or near the same groove as the fletched shafts. Going down in bow weight is not a problem other than losing a little arrow speed. Your equipment is basically tuned when the bass shaft and flesh shaft impact at the same or very near the same location of the point. Once you have completed the fine tuning process, do not be surprised if the bass shaft impact changes. It is a common on a well-tuned bow to have the bass shaft impact a different location than the fletched shaft. Usually, a good tune will have the bass shaft impacting close to the fresh shafts in the horizontal plane. But if the knocking point high is not correct, the bass shaft impact position may be slightly higher or lower than the fresh shaft impact position. Now listen to the five questions that I'm going to ask you and try to answer them by listening to the lecture again if you do not know the answers. Number one question, question number one. What do we mean by dynamic spine value of an arrow? I repeat, what do we mean by dynamic spine value of an arrow? Now, next question. What happens to the spine of the shaft if we shorten it? If you decrease the, you know, the, the, the length of the spine shaft or you cut it, what is going to happen to the spine? Now, next question will be the third question is what happens to spine of an arrow if the point weight is increased? The next question is what causes fish tailing of an arrow? If the arrow goes like that, what is the reason for fish tailing? And finally, the fifth question, what happens to the spine of an arrow if you reduce the number of strands in a string? Since the lecture is loaded with information, it is not going to get into our heads easily. If it does, we all must be geniuses. Please listen to the lecture over and over again in your headphones. This will truly help you understand what I am saying. Keep repeating till you are thorough with the lecture. Till you have completely grasped everything that I've told you. Find the answers to the five questions and please send them to me on direct message or WhatsApp number 9841618386. The common mission of all of us is the same. Hey, to make India our motherland, Hindustan the ultimate in archery. Who archery mission? Let's join hands towards this goal and chant Om, Om, Om. Olympic medal, Olympic medal. Nothing but the Olympic medal in archery. Jai Hind, Vande Madaram. Bye-bye. God bless you all. Catch you soon.